Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're going to be talking about a pretty interesting discovery coming from a relatively distant and also relatively famous galaxy located in a really really large galactic cluster. And what the scientists seem to have discovered is the absence of something. The absence of the supermassive black hole in the middle of the galaxy. The galaxy that's also one of the largest and most massive galaxies we've ever found, which is quite surprising. But let's talk a little bit more about this because this is a pretty interesting study and a pretty unusual discovery. Or lack of discovery. So anyway, what exactly is this cluster and what's going on here? This place is known as Abel 2261. It's a collection of different galaxies with one very large and very bright galaxy right in the middle known as Abel 2261 BCG. BCG is normally what we call these really bright central galaxies in the middle of most clusters. It stands for Bright Cluster Galaxy, and pretty much most of the clusters we've found out there will usually have this one large galaxy in the middle that shines a lot more and has a lot more mass than all of its neighbors nearby. But I think most scientists would agree when I say that this particular galactic cluster with this particular BCG are the most famous of them all, mostly because it's so extremely bright, it's such a massive huge galaxy, and it's essentially something that we've been studying for many many years. And I guess let's just start by trying to visualize what this particular galaxy looks like. First of all, we know that it's about 3 billion light years away from us, and it contains anywhere from 10 to probably 50 times more stars than the Milky Way galaxy. So compared to our own galaxy, it would look something like this. This is roughly around 10 times bigger than the Milky Way. But apart from being one of the largest galaxies known to us, it also has the largest core of the galaxies we've ever seen. The core itself spans roughly around 10,000 light years, which is several times larger than the core of our minuscule Milky Way that you see right next to it. With the total diameter of this galaxy also being roughly around 1 million light years across, like I said, about 10 times bigger than the Milky Way galaxy. And naturally, because this galaxy is so extremely large, so extremely massive, and also so extremely bright, we sort of expect it to have very unusual internal structure as well, with potentially one of the most massive or the most massive black holes we've ever discovered. And so for many years scientists have been trying to find this mysterious black hole that could be as massive as 100 billion masses of the sun, with the lowest estimate being 3 to 6 billion masses of the sun, which is exactly what the mass of M87 that you see right here is as well. In other words, it was a search for this mysterious giant that could be hiding somewhere inside this very interesting galaxy in the middle of this very beautiful cluster. Which by the way would make it at least a few thousand times more massive than the supermassive black hole, Sagittarius A star black hole in the middle of the Milky Way galaxy, whose unusual effects on the stars nearby you see in this particular video, which was created by the wonderful people at the Max Planck Institute. But many different searches have been conducted in the last few years and the black hole seems to be missing. It seems to be nowhere to be found. And the most recent research, with the paper that you can find in the description below, focused on combining the search using Chandra X-ray Observatory mixed with the observations from the Hubble telescope. In other words, it tried to combine different observations to try to find out if the black hole is hiding somewhere, maybe not in the center, maybe it's a little bit to the sides, or maybe it's actually outside of the core completely. Because the previous search for this black hole discovered nothing but, well, basically just gas. There was gas everywhere, but no emissions whatsoever that would suggest a black hole was somewhere in the middle, creating very powerful X-rays and other very powerful emissions that are normally typical of these massive black holes. And this was actually a very interesting search because the idea here was that, well, we believe that these galaxies form by colliding with other very large, very massive galaxies. And naturally, when these galaxies collide, their supermassive black holes have a chance of collision as well. But when two massive black holes collide, they create a large enough gravitational wave that the product itself, final black hole, actually has a chance of being kicked out of the galaxy through the sheer action of this sudden increase in momentum. And although we've detected so many different black hole collisions already, all of these previous collisions have been of really, really small black holes. We've never seen an actual supermassive black hole collision. And detecting such a collision or a result of such a collision would be a huge discovery, simply because there's something known as the final parsec problem. 
I believe I made a video about this that it could be popping up somewhere right there, but in a nutshell, there's basically a theory that suggests that supermassive black holes are going to have trouble colliding simply because at some point when they get to within about one parsec away from one another, they're just not going to have any way to come any closer to one another. And because of this, some scientists believe that supermassive black holes might never be able to collide. And that creates a bit of a problem because we've seen some really massive black holes, but we don't know how they were formed. Like we have absolutely no idea how M87 came to be, for example. And so finding the signs of possible supermassive black hole collision in some galaxies somewhere out there would be a huge discovery. It would allow us to finally conclude that black holes of certain masses can collide after all. We just don't really know how yet. And so naturally, this particular galaxy has always been the primary source to kind of look for these supermassive black hole collisions, because the center doesn't have a black hole, maybe the black hole was kicked out and is somewhere on the outskirts. For example, when studying this galaxy in more detail, the scientists did discover that there were certain star clumps, but not in the center, about 2000 light years away from the center, where maybe the black hole was hiding. They also discovered the apparent X-ray center and also the center of radio emissions. But these radio emissions were only showing us that whatever was happening in this galaxy that might have actually been related to a supermassive black hole most likely happened about 48 million years ago. There's at least one study that investigated this in a lot of detail and does explain that this is basically what they call a radio relic. And on top of this, the scientists did discover a few unusual asymmetric features in the center of this galaxy. For example, for some unknown reason, the density of the gas does actually decrease as the center is approached, at least in the core, and that suggests that something may have actually been there before, with the highest density being a little bit away from the center. But none of these locations where the density is really high were exhibiting any X-ray emissions indicative of basically a typical supermassive black hole in the middle. And obviously no other sign anywhere nearby was found either. No X-ray emission suggests that either the black hole is just extremely quiet and is essentially just hiding somewhere, or possibly it got kicked out much, much, much farther away, possibly even outside of the galaxy by now. Although surprisingly, there are still no signs of any of this either, even though the signs of previous activity are visible here. So it essentially as if it just vanished and possibly got captured by something else massive nearby. And since in this particular galaxy we do expect there to be an extremely ultra-massive black hole, something that's possibly even one of the most massive objects we've ever discovered, missing such an object is kind of a, a big deal, both figuratively and literally. And so I guess for now we can't really do anything other than maybe wait for other observations, possibly from other X-ray telescopes like the German-Russian collaboration Erosita, or possibly just look using Hubble telescope for something else that we haven't seen just yet. Either way though, it's a pretty interesting lack of discovery. The strange ultra-massive black hole that's definitely missing in this galaxy. Something that we currently can't really explain. But anyway, on that note, well, that's really all I wanted to mention. Check out the paper in the description below and maybe come back tomorrow to learn something you may have not known before. Also subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, and maybe buy this beautiful black hole t-shirt that you see right here to support this channel, or you can also support me on Patreon as well. Either way, I'll see you tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye-bye.